Hey, fourth graders. So a little different change of scenery today. Uh, Gracie is at physical therapy and I thought that would be a good time to read you uh, the book that I wanted to read you uh, this week for moral focus. So it is called The Spiffiest Giant in Town. And I think those of you that were, well, you were all in third grade last year, but I think Mrs. Ramsey's class um, might have done uh, something with this book in a moral focus um, assembly. So I'm excited to read to you The Spiffiest Giant in Town. So George was a giant, the scruffiest giant in town. He always wore the same pair of old brown sandals and the same old patched up gown. I wish I wasn't the scruffiest giant in town, he said sadly. But one day, day, George noticed a new shop. It was full of spiffy clothes. So he bought a spiffy shirt, a spiffy pair of pants, a spiffy belt, a spiffy striped tie, some spiffy socks with diamonds on the side, and a pair of spiffy shiny shoes. Now I am the spiffiest giant in town, he said proudly. George left his old clothes behind in the shop. He was about to go home when he heard a sound. On the sidewalk stood a giraffe who was sniffling sadly. What's the matter? asked George. It's my neck, said the giraffe. It's so very long and so very, very cold. I wish I had a long, warm scarf. Cheer up, said George, and he took off, took off his striped tie. It didn't match my socks anyways, he said, as he wound it around and around the giraffe's neck. It made a wonderful scarf. Thank you, said the giraffe. As George strode toward home, he sang to himself, my tie is a scarf for a cold giraffe, but look me up and down. I'm the spiffiest giant in town. George came to a river. On a boat stood a goat who was bleeding loudly. What's the matter? asked George. It's my sail, said the goat. It blew away in a storm. I wish I had a strong new sail for my boat. Cheer up, said George, and he took off his new white shirt. It kept coming untucked anyways, he said, as he tied it to the mast of the goat's boat. It made a magnificent sail. Thank you, said the goat. Jo George strode on, singing to himself, my tie is a scarf for a cold giraffe. My shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat. But look me up and down, I am the spiffiest giant in town. George came to a tiny ruined house. Beside the house stood a white mouse with lots of baby mice. They were all squeaking. What's the matter? asked George. It's our house, squeaked the mother mouse. It burned down and now we have nowhere to live. I wish we had a nice new house. Cheer up said George, and he took off one of his shiny shoes. They were giving me blisters anyways, he said. As the mouse and her baby scrambled inside, the shoe made a perfect house for them. Thank you, they squeaked. George had to hop along the road now, but he didn't mind. And as he hopped, he sang this song to himself. My tie is a scarf for a cold giraffe. My shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat. My shoe is a house for a little white mouse. But look me up and down. I am the spiffiest giant in town. George came to a campsite. Beside a tent stood a fox who was crying. What's the matter? asked George. It's my sleeping bag, said the fox. I dropped it in a puddle. I wish I had a warm, dry place to sleep. Cheer up, said George and he took off one of his socks with diamonds on the sides. It was tickling my toes anyways, he said, as the snucks fox snuggled into it. It made a very fine sleeping bag. Thank you, said the fox. George hopped on, singing to himself, my tie is a scarf for a cold giraffe. My shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat. My shoe is a house for a little white mouse. One of my socks is a bed for a fox. 
but look me up and down. I am the spiffiest giant in town. George came to a big squishy bog. Beside the bog stood a dog who was howling. What's the matter? asked George. It's this bog, said the dog. I need to get across, but I keep getting stuck in the mud. I wish there was a safe, dry path. Cheer up, said George, as he took off his spiffy new belt. It was squeezing my tummy anyways, he said as he laid it down over the bog. It made an excellent path. Thank you, said the dog. The wind started to blow, but George didn't mind. He hopped on singing to himself. My time.